Somebody shout hallelujah. Rise to your feet and shout hallelujah. He has done me well. He has done me well. He has done me well. Jesus. He has done me well. He has done me well. He has done me well. and worship the king who has done you well. Give him praise. Give him glory. Even when you were in your mother's womb, he knew you. He called you by name. Then the day came that you were given birth to. And now you have grown up. He has never left you alone. He has been doing you good. I want you to rejoice before this God this afternoon. Bless the name of the Most High God who loves you so much. Let us give him praise. Let us rejoice in him. Rejoice, O oh Zion. Rejoice, O oh people of the Most High. Rejoice before Him. Give Him glory, give Him honor, give Him praise. Exalt His holy name. The Lord of Lords, the God of God, the owner of your life, the owner of your family, the owner of Kaduna State, the owner of Nigeria. The owner of the government of Nigeria, the owner of the government of the nations of the world, rejoice before him. He is in charge. The Lord God reigneth. He reigneth in the nations. He reigneth in the affairs of men. He reigneth in this conference. Rejoice before him. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him praise. The spirit of the Messiah. Worship the Lord God Almighty. Worship the Messiah, the Messiah, the Messiah. Worship him. Give him glory for redemption. He has redeemed you. He has saved you. He is your sanctification. He is your redemption. He is your righteousness. Rejoice before him. Oh, Jesus has become your wisdom. Give God glory. Give God honor. Give God praise. It is well with you. It is well with your spirit. It is well with your soul. It is well with your body. Rejoice before the Most High God. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Mande Kalebosh Akala. Jesus is Lord. Megede Malama Kontoleme. He reigns in the face of man. He reigns in the environment. He reigns over your destiny. He reigns over your matters, over your issues. Jesus reign. Magade Elebo Akalaba. He alone is God. There is none besides him. Magade Ekalaba. He alone is to be exalted. No circumstance. No situation is to be exalted above your God. Your God is above all. Magade Eke Talabosh. At the name of Jesus, 
every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Makate Maligabosh. Therefore, every situation, every circumstance must bow before Jesus. Magade Madabe. It must bow before the Messiah. Sickness and disease, every form of infirmity must bow before the Messiah. Whatever name it is named, it must bow before the Messiah. And a word is coming tonight. A word from the Messiah is coming this afternoon. It's going to dissolve every situation, every matter that is defying solution. A word is coming, and that word will carry with it a solution. Magade Rekete received the word of the Lord, received the word of prophecy. It is coming your way. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You receive it and you will live. You will live. You will live. You will live. You will survive. You will live. But Mandale Ekete Malerebo Shala. Bate Kale Matoto Bangandere Balabosh and Alagabore Rekete Tetere La de Bobote Akata. I didn't bring you here for nothing. I brought you here for myself. I brought you here that I will talk to you. I will build you. I will strengthen you. I will release you. Made ekete radebe. I have a word for you. I have a message for you. Made ekete. That is why I brought you here. Ralege bete lade kele papa retele. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention to my word. Pay attention to me. For I will speak. I will speak. I will speak. I will speak in diverse ways. I will speak. I will speak. Kate kete bate pete. I will use my servants to minister to you. I will use the environment to speak to you. I will use the day to speak to you. I will use the night to speak to you. I will use nature to speak to you. I am God. I can use anything to minister to you. And I'm telling you, I am going to minister to you in this conference. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Open your eyes and see. Open your ears and you will hear Madele, my wind is blowing The wind of life, the wind of God is blowing Madele, Kala, Bado, Eke, Tala Is going to give you life, is going to strengthen you Is going to renew you Malegesh, Ekalaba, Melelelele, Sheke, Mandaraboste No more discouragement Madele, Kalaba, don't be downcast Make it a calabar, Melego Eleme, Ralabosh, Ekata, Tata, Meleke, Tele, lift up, lift up, lift up, and be lighting up, be lighting up, be lighting up, be lighting up, Maragabosh, Melegabosh, Tekelebosh, Malagabosh, Engeman, Mandelebosh, cast away every doubt, every dark cloud. Cast away every dark cloud. Make it take it, take it. Mandele bosta, manda da telebo, and la bos. Melege bandesh, malega boste, ralambo dos, rekete kalabas, melekon toho, manga boste, egele boste, magele boste, engalamoste. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, alleluia.
the days in which you live, the days in which you must manifest. There are difficult days, there are dark days. But I am with you. I am your God. I created light. I created darkness. I am everywhere. Look up. Look up. Look up. Your God live it. And your God reign it. Your God is in charge. Look up. Look up. Stand your ground. Stand on your feet. Don't bow before that circumstance. Don't bow before that situation. You have my word in your heart. Let that word come to your mouth. Open your mouth, declare my word. Stand on my word. Stand on my word. It shall not fail. It shall not. Though it tarish, though it delays, though it lingers, Stand on your ground. Don't let go. Never let go of my war. Never let go of my prophetic war. It will surely be fulfilled. Thank you, Holy Father. Be thou exalted, Lord. Be thou glorified, our God. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You may tell your... I believe that this conference is a turning point for most of us. It's a turning point for most of us. We must arise and shine in this season. In Jesus' name. We have been looking at the theme, the spirit of the Messiah. The spirit of the Messiah. There are a few points the Lord laid on my heart to share with us. You know, last night I was late battling because Isaiah 61 had dropped into my heart from verse 1 to verse 7. I was battling to receive a message from that scripture last night. And it will not just click. <laughs> I struggled, I struggled. I knew there's a message there, but the thing had not, didn't come. So uh, I just let go. And then this morning, was it today? Yeah, this morning, I was busy hammer on the scripture. I said, Baba, you are God. Amen? I said, Amen. So 
let me go to the other aspect that he spoke to my heart about the spirit of the Messiah. We're going to look at, as introduction, John chapter 14, verse 12. John, chapter 14. My father, the hour has come. Do that which you have programmed to do in this hour, my father. Reveal yourself to us from your living word and by your spirit. Lord, we are available to you, spirit, soul, and body. Do with us the way you want to do. Have your way, we pray. Thank you for liberty in the spirit. Thank you for that which we must take from your word to become our own. We receive now, my father, from your book, from your scroll, we receive our scroll. And we receive healing. And we receive direction. Thank you, our God, in Jesus' mighty name. John chapter 14 and verse 12. The Bible says, Jesus speaking here says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also and greater works than this shall he do why because i go unto my father can you raise your right hand to the lord and say my lord here am i speak expressly to me this hour in the mighty name of jesus Amen. Amen. The Messiah himself was talking here. And he was saying, he was giving birth to many Messiahs. And he said, as long as you believe in me, as long as you open your heart and you yield to me, you accept me and I accept you, I enter into you and you enter into me, you are mine. I give you the same oil. I give you the same mandate. You are going to be Messiah. And what I am doing, you are going to do not just the same, but much more. In the vision of the chief Messiah, he could see so many Messiahs in the world, taking over the kingdoms of this world and making them to become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. Hallelujah! There was a spirit with which the Messiah was walking that enabled him to see results. There was a grace with which the Messiah was walking. He was walking in an oil, in a grace given by the Father. And in John chapter 17, he said, My Father, the grace, the glory that you gave unto me, I've given them the same glory. You are carrying the same glory that you will be a Messiah wherever you are. From today, may you manifest in the name of Jesus. And I'm saying that the oil and the grace and the glory that enabled Jesus manifest as a Messiah, the same oil 
the same grace is upon your life that you are going to manifest much more than Jesus manifested. Hallelujah! Say, my father, this is my time. This is my season. This grace must speak. This oil must be manifested in the name of Jesus. My father, by this prayer, I am sharing that oil. I am sharing that grace to manifest now in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, inside of me is that grace, is that oil upon my head. Is that grace, is that oil, let it manifest now in the name of Jesus. After this conference, I shall not be the same. The story must change. We must not be the same. The story must change. In the name of Jesus. Listen, number one. The spirit of the Messiah is a spirit of urgency to do the works of him who sent him. I want to repeat point number one. The spirit of the Messiah is the spirit of urgency to enable the Messiah do the works that he was sent to do. And we see this in the book of John chapter 9 and verse 4. John chapter 9 verse 4 it is written, I must, not I may, I must, is compulsion, I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day, the night cometh when no man can walk, the Messiah is conscious of the times and the seasons, the Messiah knows there is a day, there is a night. Men can only walk while it is there. The Messiah is conscious. He did not send himself. He said, I must walk the works of him that sent me. There is a walk that I was given. I have an assignment. I have a mandate. I have a message. I was given a message by him who sent me. And I know that work can only be done in the day. There is a time attached to the work. There is a time factor attached to the work there is a day there is a night my father who gave me this work want me to do this work he has given me a day a day a day a day and that work must be done my spirit is aligned my heart is aligned there is a consciousness there is an urgency in the spirit, there is no lazing around. There is no wasting of time. You know what to do. Do you have the spirit of the Messiah? Are you born of the Messiah? Are you a Messiah? Has Jesus made you a Messiah? Are you a Savior? Has he called you? There is a work that must be done. Has he given you an assignment? Do you have a gift? Do you have a talent? What has he called you to do in the body of Jesus? There is a time attached unto it. There is a time in which you must do that work and be fruitful. A time again is coming when you can do 
or nothing. And the Messiah is saying, as long as you possess the spirit of the Messiah, there will be an urgency in your heart, an urgency to do the work of the master. You are conscious, you are aware, you will not waste any time. Oh God, arise, let enemies of time be scattered. In the name of Jesus, let every enemy of destiny, let them be scattered. In the name of Jesus, let every darkness of your destiny, every darkness that want to make sure you don't succeed, let them be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, has the Lord called you? Has he given you an assignment? Don't joke. Don't play. Let there be an urgency. I must, he said. I must. I must. There is no choice. There is no option. It is in my spirit. It is written in my soul. It is written all over me. It is there. The marks are clear. I must. I must. And in John chapter 4 and verse 34 and 35, he said, there is a foot, there is a foot, there is a foot. Jesus said unto them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Madekete Radaba 35 says, say not ye, there are yet four months. And then come at harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the field, for they are white already to harvest. Madegele Borobosta, Mande Peke, every spirit of procrastination, I cast it out of your life now in the name of Jesus. But they, 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 Balagabata, every demon attached to food. Every demon attached to food to keep you from doing the will of the master. I cast that demon out now. In the name of Jesus, he said, there is a work. There is a work that my father has given me. And that work, I must do it. I must finish it. No food. Food must never come in between me and that assignment. The spirit of the Messiah is attached to the assignment given by the master. Nothing will stand in between. Jesus, if you read the background story, had trick, had trick, 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 long distance, so many miles, so many kilometers. And the Bible says they were tired. They were weary. Indeed, they were hungry. The disciples left him and went to buy food. But when he lifted up his eyes by the chairman of the Holy Ghost, his eyes were lifted according to verse 35. And he looked and he saw the field wide. He saw the Samaritans, they were ready to be harvested for the kingdom. Ah, the master kick away every symptom, every biting of physical hunger. He said, I have seen a harvest. There is a great harvest in this city. I will not allow food to stand in between. I want to ask you, are you a Messiah? What is standing in between you and the mission and the work and the assignment? Is it work? Is it food? Is it money? What is it? What excuses are you giving the master for not doing that which you know you must do, whether in your church or outside your church, you know an assignment has been given to you, and you know the finger of God is in that assignment, but you are giving excuses. Jesus, as a Messiah, didn't give any excuse. The spirit of the Messiah has no excuse. There is no room for excuse as long as the will of the Father is concerned. The Messianic spirit is the spirit of missions. The eyes of that Messianic spirit are always up, looking up. And as long as they look up to the master, he enables them to see, 
to see the harvest and they enter in gladly may your eyes look up and may you see your own harvest and may you enter into your own harvest in the name of jesus i command every form of blindness out of your eyes in the name of jesus thank you my father in jesus mighty name number two the spirit of the messiah is the spirit of good works good works acts 10 38 acts 10 38 you know i was asking the lord what about the spirit of the messiah what do i say then these droppings of the spirit began to drop in my heart and i wrote up to about 21 droppings of the spirit of the messiah and there are a lot more listen acts 10 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth the messiah with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all, not, not some, all, all, that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. The spirit of the Messiah was spirit is it? Is the spirit of good works. Good works in a choice, empowered by the Holy Ghost. They are not mere works. They are good works. They are works that affect humanity. They are works that went down, they add value to the life of human beings. The life of individuals, the life of society, they add value. When people see it, they notice it. It is noticeable. Messiah is thinking of how to do something to affect somebody positively for the kingdom. Messiah in spirit is the spirit that is full of good works and uh, when the holy ghost come upon the spirit the bible says the spirit does not stay in one place the spirit moves about doing good to the society to the environment to the compound to the family to the school wherever the holy ghost will order the legs the steps to go the trail are good works good works result in joy like in the city of samaria when the pastor philip entered there he did good works and the bible says the whole city was full of joy when a man of the spirit enter a place and that man is connected to the spirit of the messiah and he look at the human being beyond the normal he sees the man the way he is and he reaches out to assist the man one way or the other that singular touch is going to do something tangible in the life of that person and that is what is called good works kate 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 bada ekalaba and good works no no bounds 
It knows no color. It knows no tribe. It knows no sentiment. It is prompted by the Holy Ghost to meet a particular need in the lives of individuals or in the life of a society. The master, the Messiah, the Bible says he was full of good works. He was prophetic. He was always going about, going about. From today, receive legs, legs of the Holy Ghost that will make you move around. In the name of Jesus, those legs shall be empowered right now. Let those legs receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Let those hands receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Let those eyes receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that head now receive the oil of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, you, you are not permitted to remain in one place. It is a time to move around. Your environment begin to do good works. Hallelujah! That is how those who are oppressed of the devil will get liberty and redemption. When you go there and you see a challenge, you will challenge that challenge. And that challenge has no, has no authority but to give way. Because you are a Messiah. You are carrying the DNA, the blood of the Messiah. Hallelujah! And let me tell you, when they see you, they see Messiah. They don't see you. They see the Master. They see Jesus. They have no choice but to give way. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Number three. The spirit of the Messiah is the spirit of fire. What did I say? What did I say? I'm going to read two scriptures here. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 and then Acts 2, 1 to 4. Matthew 3 verse 11, popular scripture. I indeed Baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is called the Messiah. He is mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and... I didn't hear you. With the Holy Ghost and what? Holy Ghost and... Holy Ghost, uh, Holy Ghost, uh, Holy Ghost, uh. Acts chapter 2, 1 to 4. Again, our Father here in the Lord read it in the afternoon or in the morning session. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, you know, sir, when you entered that Isaiah 61, I was praying that you don't go to, the, to, the, to this other one. <laughs> hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Acts 2, please. 1 to 4. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Say, my father, from today, I, as an individual, will be in one place and in one accord. Oh, I didn't hear you pray this prayer. Say, my father, from today, in this new season, I, David Carriga, I call your name. I will be in one place. And in what I call my spirit, my soul, my body will agree together. Oh God, as a ministry, as different towers, I 
and departments. From today, we shall be in one place, in one accord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. And then, when that happened, and the master, the chief messiah looked, and saw that they were together, they were one, they were in one place, one accord. Then suddenly, there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Verse 3. And there appeared unto them clothing tongues like as of fire, and a sat upon each of them. Four. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. You know, my heart was drawn to that comment. They were filled, filled with the Holy Ghost, filled. And I decided to go to the original language, the Greek, to look at the meaning of filled. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And one, what I got out with is that they were all permitted. Permit. No permit. The Holy Ghost permitted each of them. Permitted their head, their eyes, their hands, every member of the body, blood, the bones, the blood, everything, the spirit, the soul, everything was permeated, you know, enter into every, there is no blockage. So the Holy Ghost enter everywhere. So no empty space. Fill with the Holy Ghost. Now listen, we are saying number three, that the spirit of the Messiah is the spirit of fire. It's a spirit that carries fire. In Matthew, we were told of the Messiah that he specializes in baptizing people with the Holy Ghost. And then in addition, the element of fire is added to the Holy Ghost. And in Acts, we saw that when they were together and they were united and there was one accord, the Bible says that the wind came. There was a rushing, rushing, mighty wind. And that wind did not miss the congregation the wind knew the address of where the people were located, whether in the upper place or they were deep down in the valley. It does not matter where you are. The wind knows where you are sitting and expecting and longing and crying. You are desperate. You know you can go no further except by the touch of the spirit, the yearning of the messianic spirit, the desperate cry of the messianic spirit to make the difference, to go about doing good works. And that spirit knows there will be no good work without the Holy Ghost and the elements of fire. So that soul is looking unto the Lord and God will send that wind, that wind will locate 
And the Bible says, in that wind, there is an element of fire. And that fire will rest upon the head of everyone. That fire gave them a tongue, gave them a language, gave them a gift. Some will begin to blast in tongues, some prophecy as the Holy Ghost granted them or trans, but they began to do something. They began to speak as the, that tongue of fire gave them or trans. And I know deep down in my spirit that in this hour, in this season, throne room as a messianic ministry, myself as an individual, a messiah, a savior, having the spirit of the messiah, I need an element of fire to add impetus to what I have. My friend, I know that you and I will need this element of fire. When that element comes, you can never be the same anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you the cry of my spirit. I remember when I was born again so many years ago in my secondary school. In those days, if you are born again, it will be clear. Everyone will know that this one is born again. And you will see it in their lives. They are not joking. Something has happened to them. And there was always this element of fire. But today, it's a mystery that makes some of us cry and ask God, what is wrong? Our born again and tongue speaking is only in church. In the office, it's a different story. In the house, different story. Character, different story. What is happening? And I hear inside of my spirit, this is the season of the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. I need the element of fire. And you need the element of fire to set you on your toes. Raise your hand. Say, my father. In the name of Jesus, I cry to you tonight. Locate me tonight by the working of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, fresh baptism and fire. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to pray right now? Can you cry to the Lord except if you are satisfied with your life? It's all right, but if you are not, can you raise your voice and begin to cry to the Lord for this Holy Ghost touch, the touch of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus with the element of fire. Make it a calabosh. Mandele bobo robo kote. Andele bo riamadash. Make it a calabosh. Malega batalye. Relebosh anda. Mangebosh. Ralabosh. Reke telia. Mandorobosh. Malagande. Reke tete. Malogoboshte. Malamande inderesh. Rakalababaroshte. Mandale amatoto. Bele gandash. Relebo kote. Rande amato. Rekalabai. Relebosh. Mandangash. Releboto. Palangame. Rengesh. Ralabapa. Fa. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, 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 and fire, 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 the elements of the Spirit, and fire, Baba, the fire element of the Spirit of the Messiah, make it let the fire begin to descend upon every head, every soul, right now, Madeke. Receive the fire wherever you are in the name of Jesus. The element of the Holy Ghost, the fire, the fire, the flame, the flame, the flame, the flame. Magete, rekete, reke boshta, madele bosh, mekete kele.
foreign chicken and not a foreign chicken foreign chicken and not a foreign chicken the spirit Luke chapter 4 verses 14 and 15 and Jesus returned and the power of the spirit into Galilee can you raise your hands to the heavens raise those hands to the father say my father how can I leave this ground and go back to where I came from the same? Just the way it is with the Messiah in this scripture. He returned to Galilee and the power of the Spirit. In the same way, my father, I want to return home in the power of the Spirit. I don't know whether you mean this prayer. But please, I want to give you one minute. Cry this cry. The Lord, as this conference finishes, as I am living here back home, I want to return in the power of the Holy Ghost. I want to be permeated by the Holy Ghost. Let that be your cry now. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Let God hear the cry from your heart that you are crying to him that you want to return. Return in the power of the Spirit. My father, I am crying at the end of this conference. I want to return in the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, can you pray back for me? Look for 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about verse 15 
and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. This is what we need in this season. The spirit of the Messiah is always connected to the Holy Spirit. The Messiah and the Holy Spirit cannot be separated. The Holy Spirit became the fame of the Messiah in this scripture. He returned not in the flesh. He returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says his fame went far. Something happened. And uh, the wind, the wind, the wind became a messenger. Listen. You can print one billion flyers. Do you think that daddy was making a mistake? After he printed his books, the new book, you know, the watchman, he brought the whole thing to the house of the Lord and deliberately displayed them, you know, by the altar. What do you think he was doing? He was asking the Messiah, the owner of the altar, that master, if your breath is not in these books, they will be ordinary books. But when you breathe over the books, and the books become the career, the books, the pages of the books are impregnated with your power and with your fire. Anyone that read the book, there shall be signs, there shall be wonders, there shall be miracles. The fame of the book will go wide. Why? There is a special touch of the Spirit of God in that book. So Jesus, as an individual, Jesus, I am not sure he sent out people to go and advertise him. Yet, the Bible says, because he was a career, a special career of the Holy Ghost, his fame went white. I prophesy, when you live here in this season, the fame of God in your life will go far. In the name of Jesus, you will not be restricted. You will not be limited. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the word of God through your mouth, through your life, the testimony of the living God will go far. In the name of Jesus, whether they have seen you or they have not seen you, they are going to hear. They are going to hear. They are going to hear. In Jesus' name. My father, you will transfer the same anointing into their businesses. Whatever they are doing for their living, transfer the same oil and let the fame of their shops, of their businesses go far. In the name of Jesus, may you overcome in the marketplaces. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I say amen. I say amen. I say amen. I say amen. 
witches and wizards will begin to hear about you. Rakabe, Ekele, Kala, Mashe. When you go out now, witches and wizards, they will see a different person. Mandekele, Balaba, that problem that will be facing you in the face, we see a different person. Magada, there shall be a different announcement. Magade, Kete, Randele, Botala, Maga, Ekele, Bosta, Mandele, Lele, Lele, Bababa, God is giving you a mouth. God is giving you a word that nobody can just say. They will never overcome you in this season. In Jesus' name. God is anointing someone to go. Your fame will go far. The spirit of the Messiah, your business will go far. Lekete, Baba, barriers are broken in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Somebody, there is an announcement in your flesh. And sicknesses and diseases are given away now. In the name of Jesus. Kalaba. Fame, you are fame, you are fame, you are fame is going out, is going out, is going out. You shall be known in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, It's a time to be acknowledged, it's a time to acknowledge you. Magete Kalaba, Mekete, despise not the days of little beginning. The Lord is touching you, touching that business in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The spirit of the Messiah will announce you, will bring you fame, and you will give God glory. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So there are changes of raiment, of garments. There are changes of garments. The Lord is changing garments. To enable you, to enable your fame, to go out, to enable, you know, your fragrance, your perfume, to go out. God is changing clothing, ramen, in the name of Jesus. Someone, somebody here, you are like that high priest. Joshua, the high priest, the devil has been resisting you. But the Lord is rebuking that devil because the time for your fame to go out is now. And the Lord is removing that cloth that is dirty in your body and giving you new cloth. Receive your new garment. Receive your new garment in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Number five. The spirit of the Messiah is the spirit of servanthood. The spirit of the Messiah is the spirit of servanthood. Mark 10, 44 and 45. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest, the head, the leader, shall be Servant of how many? How many? Servant of all. Yes. For even the Son of Man, the Messiah, came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many the spirit of the Messiah is the spirit of a servant 
Are you willing to be a servant? If you are not, you don't qualify. The spirit of the Messiah is that of a slave. Go there, yes, sir. Lie down, yes, sir. Give out your car, yes, sir. Give out your house, yes, sir. Leave that work, go full time, go to Cameroon, yes, sir. Leave that city, go to that village, yes, sir. Hey, the spirit knows whatever you own is given to you in trust by your owner. The day the owner come knocking and say, give me this, there will be no struggle. You are willing to say, yes, sir. It is you that gave it to me. You are now placing a demand. It's not easy, sir, but I submit, I release it to you. Then when you come to the house of the master, you are not a lord. In the house of God, it's different. It's unlike the secular. You know, if God give you 20 people to watch over, now walk. Now responsibility. If you know what it means, you will not be too eager to be called a pastor. Because now I key. And God said one day, you are going to give an account unto him over every single soul under your jurisdiction. So are you a boss? Are you a servant? And of us are guilty, plus myself. Do I know the state of the flock? Do I even pay a visit to them? Do I know how they slept? How well they ate? Or they did not eat? Do I know whether they are sick or not sick? You know, I was shocked to my bones some few days ago. I was trying to give somebody an assignment to do. And somebody saw the name. It's a member here. And I said, ah, no, that sister, she is not here. I said, yes, I'm not seeing her. Oh. Ah, that sister has been sick. Oh. I said, what? Sick? Yes, even to hospital. I feel so ashamed of myself. Because we belong to one same group with her. And yet she was sick, and me didn't know. My friend, this issue of servanthood is not a small thing for the spirit of the Messiah. When you have the spirit of a Messiah, you will be so willing to serve. You will not be sitting down as a boss and say, oh, commanding them to serve you. And so whether they have eaten or not eaten, it does not bother you. They must give you your portion first. No, no, no. A servant, a servant who possess the spirit of a Messiah will do a different thing. In those days, when I didn't know, I was very angry with my mother. You will buy her something, she will carry and give to her last born. And that last born was stubborn. You will buy something for her, she will not wear, she will carry and give to that girl. I was angry. She will carry the food stop, give out, and she will be hungry. My friend, when you are carrying the spirit 
of the Messiah. You'll be concerned about the well-being of the flock. If you are a leader, you want to be sure that they have gotten before you get. You'll be the last to get. When they're sharing things, you'll not be the first to collect your own. You want to make sure that all of them have gotten. Then, if it remains, it will come to you. Servants! And Paul called himself bond servants. Yoked servants. Malega balega do ke 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 leboria, mande lebo roko tande hilebo kuta. E male rekala botolobo, mande lebo rekale retete, hande lebo shalababa rekete liman. In the name of Jesus, I say in Jesus' name. Well, let me see what I can take. Uh, have a few minutes more. Number six. The spirit of the Messiah is the spirit of the Saint One. The spirit of the Saint One. Luke chapter 7, verses 19 to 22. Luke 7. I will very fast now. And John calling unto him two of his disciples sent them to Jesus saying, Are thou he that should come or look we for another? 20. When the men were come unto Jesus the Messiah, they said, John Baptist has sent us unto thee, saying, Are thou he that shall come? Oh, look we for another. 21. And in that same hour, he cured many of their infirmities and plagues and of evil spirits, and unto many that were blind, he gave sight. 22, the last one. Then Jesus answering, said unto them, Go your way, and tell John what things he have seen and heard. How that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the dead hear, the dead are raised. To the poor, the gospel is preached. Amen. I said, hey, Amen. The signs of the Saint One. John, the forerunner of Jesus, was looking for a sign. He has heard about the signs of the Messiah. He had believed that he was the one to come. The saint one. But when his hour came and he was in prison, he expected the saint one to go set him free. And somehow, the saint one didn't do it. We shouldn't go into that. The point I am making is that the spirit of the Messiah is the spirit of the one to come. There is a one that must come to Kavanshan. There is a man, there is a sister that must come. When that one comes, it shall be known because that one it's a career of signs. The signs of the Messiah. The one to come. If I am the Messiah in that house, surely there must be signs. If I am a Messiah sent 
to Kavanshan. Surely there must be signs. And so when Jesus was confronted, he now sent them back to John. Go and, go and tell John. When you tell John, he will understand. These are the signs, the signature of the Messiah. The Messiah is the sent one. He was sent by God. He did not send himself. He has a message. And his message is this. In that instant, he began to heal all manner of sicknesses and diseases and infirmities. And he said, these are the signs. Go tell John, are you a Messiah? What is your sign? If you are a Messiah, a Savior, surely the people are expecting to see a sign. There has to be a message that they will know that this is the one we are looking for. Are you the one the people are looking for? Are you the one your tower is looking for? Are you the one sent to that family? If you are the one, where are your signs? Can you raise your hand and begin to ask the Lord for your signs? Everyone born of the Spirit must have signs. What are your signs? What are the evidences that you are the saint one? That you are carrying the Spirit of the Messiah. That the Spirit of the Messiah is indwelling in you. He has to manifest and he manifests by different ways. There must be signs. What are your signs? What are your way marks? What are your trademarks? What are the signs, the evidences that you are the one sent there? Amen. I say amen. Let me rush on close. Twenty. The spirit of the Messiah cannot be killed before his time. John 7, 30. John chapter 7, verse 30. Then they sought to take him, but no man lay hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. John chapter 8, verse 59. John 8, 59, somebody. Yes, yes, John 8, 59. Then took the up stones to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them. So he passed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think about it. It was in the temple. Everybody was there. He was teaching. And they got offended. And they picked stones to stone him. And the Bible says that he hid himself among them again in the temple and passed in their midst and went away. I declare to somebody here, as long as you have the spirit of the Messiah, there is a mandate upon your life. You are a career of destiny. You cannot die before your time. No, they may carry stones, they may carry guns, their weapons of war, whether spiritual or physical, they will not kill you before your time. You will be defended by the Lord in the name of Jesus. And now, if there are people who have arisen against you to destroy you before your time, I command blindness to come upon them. They will not see you in Jesus' name. I don't care, sir. I don't care, ma. As long as the spirit of the Messiah is inside 
of you if this season, this December, they have marked you out for killing, for destruction. They have marked out your business to scatter. Already you are carrying the rope of death. I decree before God in this sanctuary, I declare you will not die. You will not die. Say, my father, I am coming out. I am coming out of the pot. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Finally, we will pray. Finally, my time is up. 21, number 21. It is the spirit that has a prepared body. Let me repeat it. Messianic spirit is the spirit that has a prepared body to do God's will anywhere, anytime, in its appointed time and season. Hebrews 10, 5 to 9, and I close with this scripture. Hebrews 10, 5 to 9. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body has thou prepared me, a body has thou prepared me in bond offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me to do thy will, O God. Verse 8. Above, when he said, sacrifice an offering, and burn offerings, an offering for sin, thou wouldest not, neither hast pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. The last verse. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He take it away the first, that he may establish the second. Amen. What this last point is saying. For every messianic spirit, every believer carrying the spirit of the Messiah has a prepared body. That prepared body by the law will enable him to do the will of the master no matter what. No matter the pressure, the fire, the strange winds. Not only that, everyone having this messianic spirit has a scroll, the volume of the book. It is written of me. There is something written about him. He is a scroll. He is an epistle. So when that scroll meets with the prepared body, hell is an unbeatable tool. Wherever these two go, prepared body that is carrying a message, carrying a scroll, original scroll given by the Lord, a prophetic message. Wherever they go, the devil is in trouble. You know why? The devil has been ruling by a covenant, the first covenant. But the moment this prepared body carrying a revelation that is called a scroll enters there to do God's will, automatically by the power of the Messiah, he takes away the first covenant that is ruling the people, ruling the market, 
ruling the family, ruling the individual, and bring a covenant that he is carrying the scroll and a prepared body to establish this man that has been governed by strange powers. Are you following? Oh my God. Amen. I say amen. I say amen. That is why, sir, when the Lord instructs you, go to that family and carry out the family deliverance. Or go to the individual. Go and carry out your messianic assignment in his life. And you are a prepared body. Who doesn't serve God by sacrifices, I service. Then you'll be serving the Lord with the purity of heart. And the Lord is governing you. The Lord is your Lord indeed. Not by words. But the Lord is indeed the owner of this prepared body. The Lord has a final say over you through and through. And then you go there by revelation. My friend, you are the finger of God for deliverance in that house. So by whatever demonic covenant that they have been governed with, covenant of their fathers and forefathers that have been ruling, when you go there, you are carrying the capacity, the mandate, the oil, the power to neutralize, to cancel, that will govern them all this while and to establish a new covenant, a new kingdom in their lives. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Father, I am not sure they understand. Beloved, can you enable the practical now? Today, we are standing upon this altar not by our own. Lord is a mandate. And today, as I share your word, I am doing your will in the life of your servants. Therefore now, if there be any one of them that is controlled by a strange covenant, I take away that covenant in the name of Jesus. The covenant of your forefathers. The covenant of the market where your shop is. The covenant of the area where you are living. Controlled by the powers of hell. And they have controlled your life. Now, in the name of Jesus, I take away, I take away, I cancel that covenant. In Jesus' name. And I command liberty to your soul right now. I command you free in Jesus' name. Can you raise your hands? I begin to worship the Lord, somebody. Raise your hands and worship the Lord. Makatapete. Begin to declare every old covenant that is rolling your life. Begin to decree it. Cancel obsolete. Obsolete by the covenant of the Son of God. The covenant of the Messiah. You are free. Your business is free. Everything that belongs to you is free. Begin to pray, 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 pray. Decree, decree. Establish right now. Power is in your hands to decree. Take away their own covenant. Cancel their covenant. And establish, establish, establish the covenant of your God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Liberty now. Liberty now. Freedom. Freedom. Breaking of yokes. Breaking of covenants. Eternal covenants. Demonic covenants. Oh, God. Kata Basta. We break. We break. We break them. Let your people be free. Let them be liberated. Rabasta, da, 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 da. We break every chain. Kappa. All chain. Ancient chains. We break.
No. 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 You can't have a prepared body. And you are carrying a message from heaven. And you are governed, you are governed by the covenants of your forefathers. Demonic covenants. No, 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 no. They have no power over you. Shake them off now. Cast them off now. Continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. The spirit of the Messiah.